All right, page 33. A group of three adults and ten children bought tickets to watch a dance performance. Each adult ticket cost seven dollars more than each child ticket. The group paid a total of 125. What was the cost of each child ticket? All right, this is a part whole model, and we know the number of adults, adults and children, children, and this is what we draw. We know that if we think that children, right, that there were ten of them, five, five, right, we have uh, ten units, right. <clears throat> Each unit represents the price of the child ticket. Now, if we think about it, adult pay the same, but plus seven dollars, seven dollars. Three times, three adults paid the same, but plus seven dollars. Paid the same, but plus seven dollars. And all together, right? There are three adults. Okay. And all together, they paid one hundred twenty-five dollars. Okay. So we can see our difference. Three times seven. Yeah. This is what we do. Seven dollars times three is equal $21. We know our difference. To, to know our units, we need to subtract. So, uh, we subtract 125 minus 21, $104. $104 uh, is our units. How many units? 1, 2, 3, and 10. 13 units. 13 units is $104. Alright? So, if this is the case, one unit is 104 divided by 13 is equal $8. $8 is one unit. One unit is child's ticket. So the cost of each child ticket was $8. Right, next problem. In a car park, there are five times as many cars as motorcycles. There are a total of 264 wheels. How many cars are there in the car park? All right, so then we have a nice picture here to remind us that motorcycle has two wheels and car has four wheels, just in case I forget. And so we talk about cars and motorcycles, motorcycles, right? And we know that there are five times as much as uh, motorcycles. So motorcycles we show as one unit, uh, sorry, one block, right? And cars, five of them. And they're asking us how many cars are in the car park, how many cars there. Okay, <clears throat> so there are five blocks and each of them has four wheels, right? So five times four, all right? Plus, we need to calculate how many units we have. Plus, two wheels. Two. So we have 22. 22 units. 22 units is 264. This was our total amount of wheels. Total 264 wheels, just in case we don't forget about it, right? So what is, how much is one unit? 264. Divide by 22, we get 12. All right? And then our cars are 20 units. 20 units. So in order to find 20 units, we multiply 20 times 12. And we find that there are 240 wheels. 240 wheels belong to car. So how many cars then? Simple. We take 240, divide, each car has four wheels, and we get 60. This is how many. There are 60 cars in the car park. All right, last problem on the page 34. A shop sells erasers at $1 each. And in packets of six, one packet for $4. Edmund wants to buy 38 erasers. What is the least amount of money that Edmund will need? 
Okay, so obviously, right, if you, if you have a packet, you have a packet and there are like six erasers and it costs four dollars, right, that's gonna be cheaper than one eraser for one dollar, right? Okay, so we understand that. Now, if we think about it, we need to understand how many packets he can buy. He needs to buy 38 erasers. One packet has six erasers. So, how many packets he can buy? If we do the division, we can see that he will get six packets and the remainder of two. Right? Or this is how we write it, remainder of two. One packet costs four dollars times six, twenty-four dollars. This is how much he will pay for the packets. Now, we can remember about our remainder of two packets. And, oh, sorry, of two erasers, right? Two erasers. And for each eraser, he will need to pay one dollar, which will make it two dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if you're not sure about that, you can do it in a different way, right? There is a price of one dollar for the erasers that were not in the packets. How do we calculate that? 38 total erasers minus 6 times 6, right? This is the uh, price. Uh, yeah, this is the amount of money. The, this is the amount of erasers in the packets, right? 6 packets, 6 erasers each, okay? So if you calculate this, you will get the same thing. You will get $2. Now we have $24 that he paid for the packet, we have $2 for individual erasers, and we add them up. $24 plus $2 is equal $26. That's your answer. The least money of the least amount of money that Edmund will need is $26.